Anyuan Shang, and in this video, I'll tell you about our paper, Small Object Detection via Course Defined Proposal Generation and Imitation Learning, which focuses on the pure small object detection task. The past few years have witnessed the immense success of object detection, while current excellent detectors struggle on tackling size limited instances due to two inherent challenges, which are also our motivations. First, Current prevalent prior to proposal or prior to detection paradigms employ overlap or distance metrics to select candidates. However, both of them are unfriendly for small objects as they typically occupy small areas and the overlaps are relatively limited. We show the distribution of maximum intersection over union of anchors matched to each GT instance on the SOTA D dataset. And it can be seen that the smaller the objects are, the lower IOU the matched anchors have. Hence, the commonly used positive IOU threshold, say, Open7, is too rigorous for small objects. Second, small instances are short of discriminative information which induces uncertain predictions while large objects possess clear visual structures. This enlightens the researchers to bridge their representation gaps by imitation learning. However, Previous efforts usually employ static rules to select exemplar features in an offline fashion. In this paper, we propose a two-stage small object detector named CFI NAT based on the proposal generation part, course to find RPN and imitation paradigm, feature imitation branch. Let's focus on the CRPM first. We are illuminated by the multi-stage regression of Cascade RPN which partly addresses the limitations of one-step anchor to proposal setup. However, directly using Cascade RPN also fails to the satisfactory results for extremely small instances, and we believe that the crux lies in dedicating sufficient attention to small instances. To this end, we design an area-based anchor selection strategy to dynamically adjust the threshold to be a positive anchor. The idea behind this line is simple. We could relax the positive threshold for those tiny instances during first stage regression. Now we introduce our imitation branch. The proposed feature imitation, FI branch, aims at enriching the representations of low quality instances perplexing the model under the supervision of high quality instances. And it is noteworthy that we consider the detector's response to each instance during training to perform the imitation instead of simply taking their sizes into consideration. The training of feature imitation branch follows the supervised contrastive learning paradigm and mainly contains three steps. First, we introduce the instance quality to assess whether the current instance is competent to serve as an exemplar feature. Specifically, the regional features of those instances, whose instance quality scores above a predefined value, will be scored as exemplar features. Then we project the exemplar features and regional features in current batch to the embedding space through the designed feet to embed module, in which we tailor an imitation loss based on supervised contrastive learning to conduct imitation process. And the training of feature imitation branch is exhibited in the right. For the experiment, our CFI net achieves state-of-the-art performance on two large-scale datasets tailored for small object detection, SOTA D and SOTA A. And our method shows a clear predominance, especially for the most challenging metric, APES, which evaluates the average precision of instances whose area is smaller than 144 pixels. Moreover, SOTA A is a benchmark for oriented object detection. And this indicates the generality of our method to aerial scenarios. At last, we show the number of generated proposals between our CRPN and its counterparts. Interestingly, CRPN can dynamically shift the focus along the training. At the beginning, the model concentrates more on large objects which are conducive for early optimization. All as the training goes, the model gradually shifts its attention to objects with small sizes and are usually not handled well before. Finally, the visualization results of CFI net on the SOTA D dataset is shown at the bottom and our method could handle those extremely small instances well. That's all, thank you.